new storm team. Welcome back everyone. We're going to go ahead and start this out taking a look at our temperatures right now. So we're sitting anywhere from the teens into the 30s. It's 30 in Mowbridge still. It's 22 in Bismarck and it's 19 up in Crosby. And those wind chills are of course making it feel quite a bit cooler for some of us. We've got wind chills down into the single digits. Feels like 22 in Mowbridge. Feels like 22 in Bismarck as well. And feels like 8 up in Crosby. So pretty chilly up there to our north. And we are seeing those teens as well. So like I said, pretty chilly. And if we take a look at our winds, winds are anywhere from five to let's go 15 miles an hour, mainly out of the west. And if we take a look at our weather alerts, now we do have a wind advisory for southwestern and into south central North Dakota, as well as down in the Mobridge area. Now that is for winds from the northwest around 35 miles an hour and gusts up to 55 miles an hour. So anything that's not secured will be blown around. And if we take a look at our wind gust forecast heading into tomorrow morning here, you can see those wind gusts are already picking up around 5 a.m. We're seeing wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour and they're going to continue to pick up as we head throughout the day here. As we head into the early afternoon, we'll be seeing those wind gusts around 40, 45 and up. Like I said, could see them up to 55 miles an hour. There's a little bit of that blue in our wind gust forecast and they're going to stick around for most of the southwestern part of our state into the early evening hours but as we head into the later evening hours they will start to calm down once again and then heading into tuesday not looking too bad but we will have just a bit of wind gusts over tuesday night into early wednesday morning could see around 25 maybe some 30 mile an hour wind gusts there and those once again will calm down as we head into wednesday during the day and here's a look at our satellite and radar right now. We got a lot of clear skies, but as you can see, we do have some of that snow is starting to move in here just into that eastern Montana there. So just a little bit of flurry is probably starting for us. And if we go ahead and roll precision gas, as we continue throughout the night, we will see that snow move through as a clipper system moves through here. So as we continue throughout the night, we're seeing that snow move in. We'll continue to see that snow move through into the morning. So likely to be waking up to some snow now looking to see about a dusting to maybe an inch of accumulation. So not too much and travel impacts are looking to be pretty minimal at this time. But of course, we'll keep an eye on it and keep you informed. And as we head throughout Monday into the afternoon, still seeing mostly so snow could see a little bit of that wintery mix, but it should stay mostly snow here and then heading into the night. We will start to dry up. Could see a few scattered showers here and there. Heading into Tuesday, we're going to be pretty dry for Tuesday. And then heading into Wednesday, we're also looking to stay pretty dry, waking up to quite a bit of clouds. But Wednesday is also going to be really nice and warm for us, but could see a couple of scattered showers through the night on Wednesday. And into Thursday, we are looking at some more chances for some rain and maybe some wintry mix and some snow. We're going to have to wait and see how those temperatures play out. Our 10 day temperature trends here do show that we are warming up into Wednesday before we're cooling off again. Dickinson's five day forecast, lots of windy and breezy days ahead for us. Willison's five day, do you have that chance for snow? 60% tomorrow. My not seven day forecast here, 60% chance of snow tomorrow. And we're warming up into Wednesday. Bismarck seven day forecast. Look at that 57 for Wednesday, almost 60. <laughs> wow. It's unbelievable. It is. I, we're in December. We got almost 60. I can't believe it, but I'm not complaining. Thank you for listening to me, weather people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Carolyn. Coming up next in sports, Tristan Thomas. As your top.